First of all, first of all, first of all, that looks like a whole goddamn clown doll. That's what we doing. All right. Sup, low. <sighs> Fucking basements. This first discovery happened to multiple students of Ohio State University back in September of 2013. The group of students only recently started leasing an off-campus house close to the school. And it was in this house where they would make a disturbing find in the basement. Only a month after moving in, the students would start to notice small yet strange occurrences in the house. Things like cupboards, their oven, and even their microwave being left open. The house was three stories, with five students on the first floor and ten others on the second and third. Damn. So obviously it was difficult to keep track of everyone. But when they realized none of them were responsible, they decided to search the house, more specifically the basement. What they found was a locked door, which they had originally assumed was a utility closet that the landlord wanted to be kept locked. Though at no point in time was this confirmed, and after calling the landlord about it, they were informed this wasn't the case. The door should not have been locked for any reason. The landlord would end up sending a maintenance worker to check it out, and after breaking down the door, a room that was clearly being lived in was revealed. The room had framed photos and school textbooks scattered around. The students would change all the locks that night and leave a note for whoever was living in the room saying to call them. The man would actually end up calling the number and later be removed from the household. It turns out the guy was a cousin to one of the house's previous residents, which is how he got a key in the first place. One of the students even recalled running into the man in the basement at one point earlier in the month and asking who- Really? Really, you you ran into this mother, but you couldn't say shit. That's what the fuck we doing? That's what we doing. All right, bet. Got you. If we get caught up, best believe your ass getting caught up first. How you not gonna say nothing? You ran into this mother, cause you not gonna say shit. Caught you. Once, but only to be met with a very vague answer. Ultimately, the students would blame the leasing company of the home for the incident, as they were responsible for failing to change the locks from the year before. In June of 2020, a man named Christopher Town would make a life-threatening discovery while helping his friend move furniture in his basement. Unknown to both of them at the time was the fact that the house itself was built over a well. And so at one point, when Christopher was making his way across the room, the floorboards just underneath him would snap which caused him to fall the 25 foot drop to the bottom. Fortunately, Damn. there was water at the bottom to break his fall, though this meant Christopher would have to use the rocks on the wall to hold his head above the water while he waited for the local fire department to arrive. And to make things worse, the water itself was at an extremely low temperature. Though, after only a few minutes, the fire department was able to successfully get Christopher out using a hauling system. And other than almost getting hypothermia, Christopher would make it out unhurt. Mike Carroll was a man who lived in a small house in Lake Grove, New York, which was the same house he had grown up in. Mike was 57 at the time, and only a few months prior had purchased the house. Though, while he was in the basement, Mike would make a disturbing discovery. He would find a full set of human bones buried under some dirt. Oh. But what makes this find so disturbing is the fact that the bones matched the DNA of his father. Oh, shit! When Mike was only eight months old, his father was said to have gone missing. And throughout his childhood, he would question his mother about this. But each time, he was given a different story. So, of course, this made Mike want to find out for himself what had really happened to his father. Which is what gave him motivation to buy his childhood house in the first place. The newly found bones would obviously cause blame for the disappearance to be shifted onto his mother. Though, she had unfortunately passed away 20 years prior. My ass. So, there's no way of confirming if she was responsible or not. And therefore, what really happened will forever be unknown. In January of 2016, an appliance repairman was responding to a call from house owner Charles Price. Though, while the repairman was working in the basement, he would claim to have noticed something moving in a covered container in a back corner. Curious, the repairman would lift off the cover and be met by a 200-pound alligator. But before running, the repairman would capture multiple pictures for proof to show the police. 
It turns out the house owner had the alligator for more than 20 years. Damn! He was supposedly using it to help him with the house's mouse infestation. Oh, yeah? He would illegally keep the creature in a cage in his basement and claim to occasionally take him out into his backyard. Shortly after the repairman made the report, the alligator was confiscated by local animal control and later released into a better environment. This discovery was posted to Reddit by an account under the name Daily Dish. In the post, the Redditor explains how a few years ago they shared a house with some friends, and in the first few months of living in the house, they hadn't spent much time in the basement. The basement was half finished, with the other half being a sort of dirt crawl space that extended under the porch of the house. They went on to explain how one night they decided to explore more thoroughly, and after grabbing a flashlight, they discovered a black canvas duffel bag in the very back of the dirt crawl space. Disturbingly, in the duffel bag were two black ski masks, a hunting knife, and a single black leather glove. The Redditor went on to explain how they decided to call the non-emergency police number and report the discovery, though the police weren't interested, and therefore the house owners decided to set fire to everything but the hunting knife. Whether that bag had any relation to any sort of criminal activity is still unknown to this day. This next discovery comes from a guy who moved into a studio apartment in England. The guy claimed to have moved into the apartment without even viewing the place. Wow. On arrival, he would discover something pretty disturbing. So here's the apartment I moved into last week. It's pretty small, pretty nice. Rent was pretty cheap, so I moved in without even viewing the place. And then when I got here, I realized why the rent was so cheap. The guy then goes on to give a tour of the apartment. And after a while, this sort of trap door on the floor can be seen. Got a bathroom pretty standard. And then we got down here. What's this? You don't want too much. Relax. That's none of your concern. Get some duct tape or some super glue and, and glue or duct tape. Uh, the door shut. So nothing can go in or out. That's definitely a handle. So I figured, you know, a bit of underfloor storage. So let's lift this up. That looks like it goes in pretty deep. Featured directly under this guy's apartment is some sort of dungeon looking basement. Come on, man. Come on. See a corridor going off straight to the front. And just some graffiti on the wall. And here's this place is straight. There's like a brick seat or bed. Compared to the rest of the apartment, the area itself is pretty big, featuring many large rooms and corridors. What exactly this area was used for is unclear. Way back in 2002, a homeowner in Jefferson County, Wisconsin, found out that the foundation of her house was deteriorating. And so in November, she would apply for a loan to repair the foundation. But around two weeks later, while away at work, she would get a call from the workers hired to do the repair, explaining how they came across a gruesome discovery. They explained that as they started to remove the soil from the foundation wall in her basement, they had unearthed the full skeletal remains of a body the skeleton was determined to be that of a 50-year-old male. Most disturbingly, though, is the fact that after further inspection, it was determined that the house had been built right on top of an ancient burial ground. Damn! It's estimated to be up to 170 years old. Experts believe that in all likelihood, hundreds more skeletons are within a close proximity to the one found. This discovery would ultimately put a stop to the house's renovation altogether. In January of 2010, Wally and Linda DeForest would move into their new home in Goshen, Indiana. Though, only a week after moving in, the couple would discover a live torpedo in their basement. Wow. Something they obviously weren't aware of beforehand. Both of them noted how old the thing looked, but still obviously active. There had been no drill holes to indicate it had been disarmed. The couple would end up calling the police, who would send out a bomb squad to extract the torpedo from the property's basement. And 
Luckily, they were able to remove it without incident. But considering the squad did confirm the explosive was still active upon arrival, the whole situation just makes you think how much worse things could have really gone. Hey, the one that really, uh, the one, that, I think either, okay, I know one that really stood out to me was, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what number this was, but it was the one where he, where he had the apartment, and he didn't do no type of inspection whatsoever, he just moved it right in. Um, and he found like a little crawl space. Like, that's a whole like, that's a whole nother apartment down there. What the fuck? What the hell? Oh my god! The one with the alligator. Yeah. It's for twenty years. Uh, the one story where he was trying to figure out information, he was trying to get information on, on his dad, but then his mother somehow died. She did that. She, she, she killed the husband. She killed the dad. Oh, and then the first one. Whole time, one of the roommates was kicking it. Was was chilling with the uh, with the one, with the with the uh, the guy that was living with them that had no business living with them. He sucks for that. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love. Hey, if there's any chill scares you want me to check out, let me know that in the comment section below. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family.